Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the Envy High Chair with the play table conversion. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown at the end of the instructional video. Now these high chairs do come in different colors, but the assembly will be the same. So let's get started. To assemble the chair, you will need part A, the assembly tool. You will need part B, the seat back with the pad and the harness. Part C, the seat, which comes with part D, the seat bolt. You will need two of part G, which are the chair rails. You will need part E, the left side, and part F, the right side. You will also need eight of the O caps, which are attached to the chair rails on each side and attached to the seat on each side. So for this step, what we're gonna be doing is attaching the seat to the back of the chair. Now when you look at the back, you're gonna see the one side that has the support. This is where you're gonna be interlocking that seat into for that support. Now down here at the bottom, you're gonna see that this is going to correspond with that same shape to make that hinge appearance. Now one of the sides of the seat has the buckle. I'm gonna face this downward. And then I'm gonna pull out the pin from the seat, completely out. Then I'm gonna put this interlocking with the back so that it fits together just so. Once you get these together, you're gonna put this pin back into place, making sure that it goes through the seat and the back of the chair. So we're gonna weave it all the way through as far as it can go. So these should be locked together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna take that buckle that is now facing upward and I'm gonna put it through the hole in the fabric here. So we're gonna push that through. Then also what you're gonna see on the sides of this cushion, there's gonna be two snaps on each side. You're gonna to wanna to snap these down to place on the chair seat. So you're gonna fold up the back a little bit and you're gonna find where those snaps connect, push them down and click them into place on both sides. And then I'm gonna pull that buckle all the way through as far as you can go. Next for this step, what we're gonna be doing is placing the left side onto the chair that we've already started. Now when looking at the chair on the left side, you'll see these caps that are already put into place. We're gonna to wanna to unscrew these and take these off and set them aside for right now. You will also notice that on these, on these ends here, there is a plastic ring that needs to stay there. So make sure not to remove that when removing the caps. So what we're gonna do, when looking at the left side, you're gonna see one that has the L on it. This is the left side that needs to go on the chair first. So first what you're gonna do is find the side that has these three holes or pockets on the back. That is where the chair back piece right here needs to go into. Also, these two more square-like holes towards the bottom is where the two pegs here at the bottom that we just removed the caps from are gonna go into. So when it's all put in place, it'll go into here and this back pin will go into this insert here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this down first. I'm gonna align these two holes with these two holes and put the caps back on into place. I'm gonna use that assembly tool provided to make sure that the caps are nice and tight. Once you have this tightened in place, the next thing we're gonna do is put on the chair rails. Now when looking at the chair rails, you are gonna see one side that has the numbering. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we put these chair rails into place and making sure that these are out of sight so that you're not having to see them. Now these also have the caps on, which will need to be removed prior to putting these in place. Now when putting these in place, you're gonna see that these, these markings here on the left side, there is one that has the more rectangular shape that is facing up and down. And then the one on the back here is more side to side. So they are gonna be set a little bit differently. So what we're gonna do, this one that's up and down, you're gonna have the markings to the inside so that you don't see it. The one on the back, you're gonna have the markings facing downward because it's gonna be more flat. So what I'm gonna do is remove these caps, put the two chair rails into place. I'm gonna screw them in using the assembly tool on the left side and we're gonna get both of these put in. And lastly, what we're gonna be doing is putting the right side of the chair into place. Now we're gonna be repeating the same thing we did with the left side, but a couple things to remember. 
So when putting on the right side, make sure that these pins get into this back groove on both sides. This is going to be important when adjusting the chair backrest later on. Also, all four of these caps will need to be removed before putting the right side on. Then you're going to replace all the caps, making sure that that plastic ring stays on each of these pegs. So let's get this last side put into place. To assemble the table, you will need part A, the assembly tool. You will need part H, the table left side, and part I, the table right side. You will also need part L, the footrest, two of part K, which are the table rails. You will need part J, the table top, and you'll need 10 of part O, the caps. So first what I'm going to be doing to assemble the table is I'm going to start with the left side. When looking at the left side, we're going to look at the side with all the holes to determine what goes off where. So these first top two holes is where the table top is going to be coming off from. This next hole going down, when there's only the one on the one side, this is going to be where the footrest is coming off from. The next two bottom holes here are going to be where the table rails are going to be going. So now when looking at the table top, you will see one side has a larger curve. You're going to want this larger curve to be going on the same side as the footrest. So we will have it going off this direction because this is where the footrest piece is going to be coming off from. Now when looking at the table, the footrest, you're going to see one side that has, again, the larger curve. Now to be opposite, you're going to have this facing inward. So when it goes onto the table, it's going to be this second hole down with the larger curve facing inward. So the tabletop is going to have the larger curve facing this direction, but the footrest is going to have the larger curve facing the opposite direction. Now this one also has that the number scheme, so make sure you have that facing downward so you don't see it. So just rotate it around as needed to make sure that it looks more appealing. And then lastly, you're going to be putting in those rails, again, have the writing facing downward if possible, or to the inside. Now with these rails, these are where the caps are going to be, so we're going to remove the caps off both the rails and also off the tabletop. We're going to put everything into place, um, including the footrest as well, put everything into place and then re-screw all those caps on. So let's get the whole left side of the table assembled. And lastly, for the table, what we're going to be doing is putting on the right side. This is going to be repeating exactly what we do on the left side, just opposite. We're going to remove all of these caps on this side, so there's going to be five of them. We're going to place the right side over top, making sure that each of these pieces go into their corresponding holes. Then we're going to replace all of the caps. So let's get the right side put into place. To assemble the high chair, you need part M, the insert tray, part N, the adjustable main tray, you need part Q, the T-bar, and then you'll need the assembled table and chair. So first for this step, what we want to do is we want to put the T-bar onto the main tray. Now when looking at the main tray, we're going to flip this over so it's upside down. You're going to see a half moon shape here on one side. This is where the T-bar needs to be inserted into. So the flat side that has the half moon disc shape is going to be inserted into the bottom of the main tray just under each of these ledges on each side. Now you're going to put this in as far as it can until it snaps. So you'll have to push it in firmly but gently until it's hear that loud snap into place. So next in assembling the high chair, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the tabletop caps if they are in place. Now these caps are nice if it's in a table form to keep small objects from going through. But when assembling or converting to the high chair, these need to be removed. Now the underside, you'll see that there's these pieces that you can pinch in order to get the caps off. The easiest way to go about that is just to push gently but firmly on one side 
which will pop the cap up and then you can remove it. So if you just push gently but firmly on one side, whoop, they'll come out pretty easily. So we're going to do that to all four of these and get these removed. And then next what we're going to do is we're going to put the chair on top of the table. Now these four holes that you've now created are where the chair legs are going to be going through. You're going to want to have the chair facing forward towards the footrest that's already in place. So we're going to lift this up. We're going to place all four of the chair legs gently but firmly pushed down until the chair is down as far as it can go. Next what we're going to be doing is adding the removable tray. Now when looking at the removable tray, on the underside you're going to see these levers on both sides. You're going to want to put these two pieces over each of the, char the chair arms. You're going to align it so that it goes into these grooves. Then you're going to pull up on those levers and you're going to put it back until it clicks into a place. Now that means that that tray is locked in so that it's safe for your child, but then you can adjust it if needed, whether going forward or backward, by pushing on those levers on both sides at the same time. Lastly, you're able to adjust the back of the chair. There's a lever here that you can pull up on. Then you can rotate the seat to lay back a little further or to go up. There's three different settings. Just make sure though, when you release that lever, that you push it one way or another to make sure that it locks into place. And lastly, the nice feature left on here is the removable tray. Now the removable tray has these brackets on both sides that if you gently pull up on one side, you can remove this tray for easy washing. Again, just to put it back in, do the reverse, hook it in on one side, pop it down, and make sure that it clicks into place on both sides. And that concludes the assembly for the NV High Chair with the Play Table Conversion. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.